Hello and welcome to this course on Kernel Based Virtual Machines KVM. Most of you may come from different backgrounds. You may be a student, you may be an ID professional, you may be actually working on Linux and wanting to learn KVM. Uh, in order to set a good base or background for learning KVM, uh, this module 1 is an introduction to virtualization. This will give you everything uh, that is required to be learned about virtualization from a fundamental perspective. So what is virtualization? Combining or dividing of computer resources that is uh, your hardware server okay has resources such as a CPU, the RAM, memory, the hard disk and so on. So combining of multiple uh, resources or dividing a single server's resources across many uh, virtual machines. Now running multiple OS environments on a single machine hardware for example server. So this means you have a single server hardware and you run multiple operating systems on it. Uh, this is what is actually virtualization. Sharing the same CPU, RAM, hard disks, DVD drives across multiple OS instances or combining multiple CPUs, RAM, hard disks, etc. from different hardware or different servers for providing more computing power. So virtualization in short means running multiple operating systems and making you maximum and optimal use of the available resources of one particular server. Now what are the types of virtualizations? There are a few type, different types of virtualization. The first being hardware or platform virtualization. This means a subdivision of the hardware resources. Uh, the server hardware is called the host machine and the virtual machine that is the instance of the operating system running on that host machine is called a guest. The second type of virtualization is network virtualization. Here uh, the network resources are subdivided. By network resources we mean the NIC uh, you know, and everything related to networking. So it's in effect it is create, creation of virtual networks or VLANs, virtual local area networks. The third type of virtualization is application virtualization. Here the standard applications are wrapped within a container simulating the required platform. So the stand, any standard application is uh, wrapped in a container. A container you can imagine something like a vessel in which you put uh, some liquid. So it simulates the required platform. So an application is put into a container or vessel and it operates within that domain. The last type of virtualization is desktop virtualization. This in moves the client's workload to the data center. For example, thin clients. So in thin clients, the application is actually residing on the server which may be located in the data center, but only the graphical user interface is accessed via the thin clients. And the keystrokes and mouse strokes are transmitted between the thin client and the server. So all processing also happens on the server. So in effect the person using the client gets a feeling that he or she is using the desktop as you would use a normal desktop. We go to the next slide, virtual machines. Now what are virtual machines? A virtual machine is a software that emulates a real machine. Has, it has all the characteristics as that of a real machine, but it is not a real machine. So it is just emulating or simulating a real machine. A virtual machine has its own operating system. So it's complete with its own operating system, but a virtual image of a real machine.
it uses the hardware resources of the server that it is hosted on so although it is a virtual machine or an image of the real machine uh, it has its operating system and this operating system helps it to make use of the underlying hardware resources uh, that is the resources of the server uh, as we learnt earlier this could be the CPU the RAM the hard disk drive the DVD drive and so on what are the types of virtual machines there are two key types of virtual machines one is the process virtual machines and the second is the system virtual machines we'll first understand what are process virtual machines process virtual machines are also known as application virtual machines these run as a single program or a single process so in short the single pro a single program is run as a single process so this program initiates and terminates with the process when the process starts the program starts and when the process ends the program terminates process virtual machines provide platform independent development environment so since it is a single process based uh, virtual machine okay it is platform independent and of course uh, helps in the development environment so the best example of this is the java virtual machine or jvm uh, you may be aware that java is platform independent it is mostly browser based and can be run through through a browser on any operating system so java applets can be run through a browser on any operating system be it windows or unix linux etc 